made a mess in this pattern. I should be ashamed of myself. Hi guys, so welcome to my channel. So, um, I haven't done a YouTube video in quite a long time, I mean years, and I thought, I've been at home for over a week, why not use this opportunity to create some content? Um, so here I am, I'm making this video, I hope you enjoy it. It's, um, it will be like an updated version of my makeup routine and we can have a chit chat whilst I do that. So normally I start off with brows and some days I do, some days I don't. But I did plan on starting on brows then halfway through this little chit chat we just had. I have changed my mind. So I'm gonna start with face. Um, my eyebrows haven't been done for quite a while now. I wish I had got that done before, before the lockdown, but here we are. We're here, we're just gonna go along with it. Um, so I'm gonna start with primer. I have cleansed my face, it's nice and fresh. So I am using Becca, um, I said Becca. That's my go-to, so this is odd. I'm used to saying Becca, but I'm using Huda Beauty um, Matte Perfection Pre Makeup Base. So I'm using this as my primer today, and it's since I bought it, it's been working amazing. So I like to apply it. What is this? It's getting on here. So I like to apply it um, in this area. I don't, I don't know why exactly, but I find that when I do this, my under eye makeup sits really well. And given that I wear glasses, I like to get this corner because when um, I do apply my concealer, powder, etc., I want minimal movement, if any at all. Um, since I got this, honestly, I believe this is high up there with um, Becca, like way, way, it's competing. I could say it's a little bit better, a little bit, but um, I've been using it for quite a while and I absolutely love it. So I apply it on my eyebrows as well and just everywhere, literally, but I place a lot of focus around this region. And yes, so you see, I didn't really need a lot or used a lot and here we have it so I let that sit for a little while um I'm not quite sure what sort of makeup look to really focus on today but what comes to mind is my go-to so I'm gonna do that so with my go-to I do not use foundation whatsoever like liquid foundation whatsoever I get in there straight with my concealers and for concealer today I'm also going to be using um Huda Beauty uh what do they call it the overachiever concealer bro it is it is all of that and a bag of chips um it's amazing I think this is caramel corn 22n neutral um absolutely loving this I do not apply a lot just a tad bit but I'm loving it and I'm pairing it up with fawn but going out with friends going out to a party it's literally my go-to I do have like the over exaggerated version but I always tend to run to this because it gives me full coverage yes and also it doesn't look like I'm doing too much and the thing about Huda Beauty is I love, love, love their coverage, but it's a bit much. You would look high def, definitely. But the fact is I don't want to come across looking all like Barbie doll vibes, but I still want to look like me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I hope you're all keeping safe. Um, I have been coughing, I believe, I I do have coronavirus or I did have coronavirus but 
I have self-isolated, I haven't been out, I've been keeping safe and I think this is the first day in over, I think it's a week, no, this is the first day in over eight days that I've felt myself because I woke up this morning with a spring to my step, I made a lot of dishes, like I cooked <laughs> several dishes this morning, um, I made my kids their favourite bre breakfast, they had um eggy bread they absolutely love that don't know why but they do um which is also known as french toast but they love it love it love it now i'm going in with the other concealer it is concealer today i don't think i'm going to use any setting powder because i think i applied enough um enough primer to get away with not using any setting powder and the beauty of not using setting powder is i've got combination skin so i'm not gonna burst out in oil my nose might but everywhere else might not so i'm not gonna burst out in oil so if i set with you know the typical um, mac minimalized skin finish um powder i'm good to go if i use the other powder i'm good to go so i think that's what i'm gonna do today See, the natural contour line comes through regardless so i'm not trying to cover that then bring it back this is what we tend to do because once we apply foundation all over our face then we have to bring back the normal structures of our face by contouring like i was saying i ha i am feeling a lot better and i believe i did have the coronavirus um it was mild symptoms you know i, I wasn't tested but i mean reading up on it um, reading up on stories of people who had been tested um, just confirms it to me because they also had similar symptoms so and I feel I although they say you know coughing and um, new cough shall I say like and um, high temperature etc that is the major symptoms there are other symptoms i mean i was having severe migraine it was so bad i mean so 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 bad so and i was having like dizzy spells um i had periods of shortness of breath but it wasn't it's different for everyone and that's what i found with this virus is literally absolutely different with for everyone so for me that was my main symptom which was the coughing the migraine here there short shortness of breath um what else was that feeling um i was feeling very anxious i don't know where that anxiety came from and what else yes feverish but only at night and it was all mild and that that was me and it went on off and on for days 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 i think i'm on my eighth day now and i'm feeling the best at the moment <laughs> I'm still coughing though. <clears throat> but the good thing is you cannot catch it through the screen. I'm gonna go underneath my eyes. I like to make sure that I do not have any creases first before going in with powder because literally, I think I've said this in one of my old videos, make sure the base is clean before you apply that powder because that powder sets anything that is currently there. So I always look to um, the Anastasia Beverly Hill contour contour kit, kit contour, whatever. I've had this in my kit for ages and this is hitting bottom pan because this is my bedroom. This right here is my bedroom and this is my clothes pal. These two, actually these three are my best friends. So what this does, this offers a lot of brightness underneath the eye. I'm upset because I'm not going out and I'm literally going to apply this and rub it off afterwards. Not happy. I always like to make sure I get those corners because that is where my glasses tend to sit. 
So right now I'm using the dark shade and I'm mixing it with the shade over here. So like I said, I use, tend to use this three. So I always pull my wig back a little bit more because I really always like to get the line So since I have this palette out, I'm going to be using it, okay? So this is the Huda um, Rose Gold Palette. I'm using Man Eater. The thing about this palette is you do not have to do too much. You just don't have to do too much. You're not there just building gollies for like days. <laughs> I'm going in with rose gold itself. I made a mess of this palette. I should be ashamed of myself. I can't believe it's getting so dark. And I don't want to change the lighting situation. I'm just going to go in with anything. I'm coming at the trend of like, um, concealing my brows or so I just like to draw them instead. I have a toothbrush here because I can't find any spoon leaf. Okay so I'm using a recycled lashes. This is DTB lashes. I'm using black glue because I find that's the only thing that really keeps the lashes down. I know a lot of people don't like it, but we're not gonna get into that today, okay? All I know is you'll go out together and um, y'all are always asking for someone with lash glue when we're out. Remember that? <laughs> Did I ever ask so? Never. I can't do without eyeliner, but I apply it very faintly. You're the best eyeliner out there, so don't don't beat yourself like that. Um, this is Maybelline New York Master Drama, the best liner ever, and it applies like a dream. But let's not try right now. I'm gonna go in and just make my under eye the same. Similar shade to the one above. So, for highlighter, because we got a pop. I'm going in with Gerard Cosmetics. Absolutely live for this. I like to apply it like in a roundish motion. And I take it over here as well, like a three. I take Fenty, apply it. Using four liner, I am using MAC Chestnut. I can't believe how dark it's gone. I need to get the lights on. And that is MAC Lipstick. I can't remember the name because I can't say it. Looks like that. I'm gonna get the ring light on now so you can see the look. Come on, come true now. Come true. Like, who's this babes? Don't you know how? Okay, I'm gonna set my face with some fix plus. So let's have a look at the. Okay, so this is the final look and I'm absolutely living for it. We're dying for it. <laughs> Babes, you need to see this. I don't know what you're saying, but this is off. And you see, I didn't have to use setting powder. This is the final look. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye now.